Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a detailed look and review of the Air Jordan Eclipse that you can see right here. And I have a, uh, a couple other shoes for comparative purposes, but really I wanted to compare it to the Roshi run uh, because the Roshi is kind of the standardized model of comfort for Nike. And uh, I guess the Eclipse, it would be considered the, the parallel of uh, what a Roshi run is. So the comfort level, casual, you can wear them without socks if you want. Uh, you can wear them really loose and just all around just more or less uh, relaxing sort of sneakers and um, a lot of people have been asking me is it worth paying the price uh, for these or should they just stick to their Roshis so hopefully this will kind of answer that question <clears throat> and then also the the main question is which is more comfortable um, so I'll show you guys the box real quick the box price on these the Jordan Eclipse are 110 if you guys are interested in these, you can check the link in the description and it'll take you to be able to purchase these. But the Eclipse is a nice model. It's really comfortable. Um, is it as comfortable as the Roshi? I'm going to say no, just off the top. These ones are 75 bucks, And for, <clears throat> I mean, a little bit of a markup, 110 75 the the materials on the, the Roshis um, are actually just more comfortable. And I don't know if it's just because of the insole, um, because of this this fun little insole that, that the Roshis have like it's a really nice little insole and the other the jordans don't have that it's just a regular it's just a regular insole that's kind of stuck to the bottom so it's not removable um the sole itself is thicker as you can see and it's not like a boost though like if you had to ask like between these two and then like an ultra boost or like a pure boost like the pure boost is more comfortable than roshi we, we already have, have established that so um at the end of the day it would be Pure Boost, Roshi for me, then the Eclipse. But that's not discounting the Eclipse from being a comfortable shoe. Um, the only thing that I will say was kind of interesting for me personally is where the tongue down here and the neoprene mesh meet underneath the shoe. It was kind of like digging in on the inside, not the outside, but on the inside right here. It was just digging into the, to the inside part of my foot. A little bit, I had to get used to that. I thought it was like overlapped or something. Um, but other than that, like these things are really comfortable. And I wore these in St. Louis and to the airport and on the airplane. Um, really comfortable shoes. They do have a little zoom on the bottom down here, as you can see. And you can see I wore these quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> and I wore them really, really loose. I do like kind of the extra little neoprene fit around the uh, the collar. I think that's a nice little addition. So the reasons why you would want these. Um, if you are one of those people that are like crazy about your brands and you, wanna, you have a lot of Nike basketball shorts and you want to wear... Uh, Roshi runs with the Nike basketball shorts or whatever, but if you have like Jordan basketball shorts uh, and you don't want to wear Nikes like Roshis um, or like to the gym or something like that because you don't want to wear your ball shoes out um, in like the asphalt or anything, you might want to rock the Roshis or the these to the gym and then switch over to your basketball shoes or something. But if you have Jordan shorts, Jordan t-shirt or hoodie or whatever, uh, if you want to stay like single branded, then this is a great alternative to, to those. So I think that they serve their purpose. I know for sure I have many pairs of Jordan shorts, so I've noticed that when I decide to choose like one to throw on my feet, if I'm wearing a pair of Jordan shorts like the other day I did, um, I threw these on because obviously I just wanted them just for fun for the branding, I guess. So that's just a, a side note for that. Um, and you're probably wondering why I have the Jordan 3 out here. Um, I really think that some of these things are pretty similar to the shoe, which is kind of weird. I didn't really realize that but one of the things is just the back area right here the kind of the back design on this it looks very similar to the three i don't know if anybody's ever noticed that um other than that i mean it really doesn't have a lot of resemblance it's just the the collar height and, and the, the shoe height and stuff kind of i guess it just kind of reminds me of the three for some reason i don't know does anybody else feel that way or am i totally like way off uh obviously and then there's like some kind of the wings or whatever area for right here for the, the laces. But it's not the same as like on this one, as you can see. Um, so the only thing I could think of is that, was that, the midsole. I was like, yeah, that, that's kind of crazy. That's actually kind of the same uh, little molding it looked like for that. So I know it's a reach. It's a really far reach, but it was one that I was like, huh, that's kind of interesting. I might as well just show it since I had the, the threes right above uh, the display right here. But that's pretty much it. I'll show, I'll show you guys the on-foot section right here. What do you guys think about the Jordan Eclipse? $110. Again, if you have a, um, a larger collection or if you have the basics or the essentials and you're just looking to expand a little bit more and you don't want to get another pair of Roshis, you already have two pairs of Roshis or whatever, 
then um, the Eclipse is a great alternative just because it gives you something uh, to reach out on. Um, and plus it has a zoom on the bottom. I don't know, some people might really like that. And it might feel better when you broke, uh, have them broken in a little bit more as well. Um, and it depends on the shape of your foot as well. Like just throwing that out there. Some people have different shapes, shaped feet. And so this one actually might be comfortable to some people more so than the Roshi. So it is what it is. It's just my opinion. Leave your guys' opinion in the, in the uh, comment section. Do you guys have the Eclipses? Um, do you think it was worth buying? I mean, it was $110 and you can probably get them on sale uh, here and there as well. And uh, I'll put a link in the eBay section uh, in the description and I bet they'll have them under retail there depending on the, the colors. But that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoy the quick review. Have a good one. We'll catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace.